The key issue here is that the images in Finding Nemo mirror the non-visual static pattern which is beyond the images. If we make the pattern visible, we see that this image matches with the pattern. The outer rectangle is a kind of off space which seems to be separate from the rest of the image. And the inner square matches with the stainless tray in which Gil and Nemo are lying and out of which Nemo eventually escapes. The third character of the pattern, the spiral, also is mirrored by the image. If you look at Gil's crest, the so-called filamentric extension. We see that it meets with the Dental Explorer, which is a sickle probe. Interestingly, Gil's crest also is sickle shaped. And it seems that the sickle character is applied here in this area because this is the area of the spiral, which of course is curved, just like the sickle. So it isn't really a coincidence that Gil's crest and the sickle probe are placed right in the line of the spiral. And another two the Dental Tweezers also points to the center of the spiral. The tweezers, gills, crest and the sickle probe all are positioned in such a way that they kind of go from the inner square into the area of the spiral. Therefore they could be seen as bridges between the inner square and the spiral. Like this one could say the visual image mirrors the non-visual pattern. It's always things going from the inner square to the outer rectangle through the spiral center. It's always these three characters interacting with each other and this interaction is mirrored visually in the images.